What I got here today is a 1980 Mercedes-Benz 240D in the 4-speed model with air conditioning. Very rare combination, very cool car. Um, I'm hoping I get a neat thumbnail like this. You can call me anytime. My name's Nathan. It's 406-544-6919. And I'm going to go around and do a close-up and show you every little problem on the car. I'll kind of go around and give you a once over. Like you can see the lights, the blinkers busted there. Um, I've got a lot of cars right now and depends. Sometimes I'll replace lights like that. You can buy that on eBay for 20 to 40 bucks. Um, and some of them I sell without doing that stuff to where you can do some a little bit of tinkering at home. And this one is a good runner, great car, shows 151 on it. Um, it was turning and it's not turning now so I don't know there might be some more on it I was thinking there ain't no way the way the tranny and the motor and everything looks and the way the car feels but um, it does not turn um, paints in great shape I'm gonna go up close here show you any minor flaws and details that are wrong with it the worst anything of corrosion or anything I found is right here and it's water sometimes gets in between them seals and that's the only thing I found Just as clean as can be. You can see in there the motor. Very, very clean. Tranny. Show you the angle too. Um, this piece has bump type stuff in it right there. Um, this stuff's in very good condition. A little crack there. Brand new grill. I just put a brand new grill on it. It's in great shape. Of course, it's brand new. Um, this piece, you need to put your front plate on it. A um, little scuff right there. This piece here is missing. A little chunk of it. Um, tires are Kum hose. Um, hubcaps are in great shape. Kum hose, they have a little bit of dry rot in them on there. Look to be about 60% tread or so. Just a little view at your training and such. I'm sure you find a wet gasket or something somewhere. Clean underneath. California car. Beautiful car. Little chips there. Another one here. A ding here. And this here is kind of off a little bit. Needs to be put into the groove correctly. Um, may even be rub through right there. I don't know from what. This one has little couple chips like on the doors. A little scuff kind of thing right there. Chip there and a chip there. Back bumper foams in good condition. It's like you had golf clubs in the trunk or something. They rattled against it here. A um, couple little chips there. Top, you got a ding right here. Very clean, but a couple dings right up in there. Nothing real huge or anything. Um, and that's about it. Pretty clean. There's a ding right there. I think I got everything there. Clean, good running car. Chrome on it looks great. All the foam and everything on the back bumper are foam. Rubberized urethane, I don't know. This one's rolled up a little bit, but it's in great shape. Everything back here is just great shape. This tow hook looks like he backed into something or something, and it could be pulled back out, but it should be done by a professional. Professional tow hook puller outer. There you go. Great shape. Look at all the factory color everywhere. It's just in great shape. Tires, good shape. A couple of them kind of things right here, too. Ding right here. Ding. A little scratch. A little scuff. Teeny cracks in the door sweeps, the window sweeps there. And a little chip here. And a little ding right there. 
thing right there. Man, that's about it. Beautiful shape. Once again, Nathan, 406-544-6919. And I know somebody will stink and make fun of me for going back here, but there's a thing there, thing here. Yeah, I try to show everything, dang it. Of course there's some things in it. And that's the price I'm selling this for. It's, it's just such a steal, it's pitiful. Look at that front end. Bling, bling. Get that light fixed and it's on. Name's Nathan, 406-544-6919. I'm gonna try to show you the inside here, depending on my sunlight. Actually, if I went for a test drive first, I could show you the interior better, I think, up at the house. Look at the door panels. Great shape, Palomino interior. Let's see here, I do these up on everything I do here. We get it all. Um, front cover lens broken, grill cracked and bent. Not no more. It's got a new one. Right side headlight assembly grass glass cracked. Yep, that's hood does not stay open. Hood springs are broken. They're right here. They broke off right there. Um. Cooling good, brake fluid good, power steering belts good, manual mirror, um, uh, clutch fluid good, crank windows work all, first aid kit on rear window sill, drive still there, broken handle on front side of seat, passenger seat, same as driver's seat, wipers work, horn works, radio works, aftermarket blah punk, power antenna does not work, blower motor works at all speeds, uh, we had the heat on last night, um, it works. AC doesn't blow cold. Got the compressor still there and all. Um, oops. A um, couple cracks in the dash, as you can see there. I'm gonna go ahead and starts right up too, man. Go ahead and go on a test drive here, and then show you the rest of this interior. these old four-speed cars. Steering on the car is a little bit, there's a little bit of play in the wheel and I wanted you to know that. More play than there should be, but it's not pain or nothing, it's just a little inch of play that doesn't steer. Thing turns on a dime. We'll test my skills now. Oh, that's a big hill there, buddy. <laughs> Steepest hill around. The car does it, man. Clutch is strong. I was holding the camera, it'd been a little bit easier than that, but. And it goes. It's got plenty of pull up the hills. You know, do them... I don't know if a guy wants to fix every ding on it or not, but... Drive this thing, man. You save your car... You save your car payment every month driving this half the time. Okay, this should work for the interior here. Okay, let me do this the correct way. Now the key does not turn the car off. It needs an ignition switch or something to that effect. Um, underneath here, it's got some heel wear. And I'm gonna put this back in as we go. And what was I doing? Oh, the hood. This piece here is loose. It requires a clip. And you gotta push the handle all the way in when you close the hood. Um, like I say, door panels are beautiful. The way this gets wrinkled on them, this one is no different. It's the same. 
Um, your seats are in great shape. I love the sound of these motors. Um, you've got, now see, I'm saying great shape. You got great shape here, then you got this. I can get this fixed and get the foam redone for, I believe it's about between 85 to 135. And he replaced that entire back piece and everything. Um, other than that, carpets. Carpets are missing on the other three sides there, as you can see. Let me hop in here and show you a couple things. This is the handle he was talking about broke on one of the seats here. Little bad boy just hums away. Great shape, a California blue plate car, which is what it should be in this year. Do get this paper with it here. I keep them in it to where I can track and um show you in the trunk here. I have to grab the key. Oh, the back seat, this part right here, needs to be stitched back on there. And like I say, I could run this up to the upholstery shop or I can run it through and sell it cheaper here. It just gets stretched back on and you'll be fine. It stretches right around it as you can see there. And, um, but there's no rips or tears, it's in great shape. Headliner's in great shape. I love the Palomino color on this with the tans and the yellows. The same thing on this one. This piece of little trim there is gone. Boot is ripped there. And the uh, ignition, like I say, you gotta do the kill switch. Let's set this down real quick. Just humming away. Great motors. Run forever. Kind of almost literally. You can see the valve cover gasket and everything's good on this one. Get yourself a Chilton's or a Haynes. Anybody can work on these. Pretty dang simple. Of course, the factory stop switch is how you're going to do it if the thing is, the ignition is broken as this is right now. Now I got to do the, back this thing up. I showed you these cracks in the dash here. It's not all out of level or nothing. But they are cracked. A little bit. Just try to be as upfront as I can about everything I'm selling here. Nathan 406 544 6919. The emblem here is a little loose. The car's got so much power that it blows the emblem right back on it. And so, no, you know if you give it a mess, that's not how that happens. But it's a little bit loose there. And I just made it clean. I will reattach that and it'll be nice and loose again, but it'll be on there. Uh, Nathan, 406-544-6919. And, man, can't think of anything else to tell you about this. Except that we're going to get that hood ornament right back on it. Um, CerealMarshmallows.com. Click on blog. That's about all there is to say. Thanks for watching. Have a great day or night. Whatever it is, wherever you are. I will help you export, import it right into your country. Just give me a call. 406-544-6919.